Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, we're gonna talk about Facebook standard events, standard conversions, custom events, and custom conversions. So we got four things we're gonna talk about. They're all similar and kind of interconnected, but I wanted to break it down on what they are and how they work because I received quite a few questions on this particular custom events and custom conversions. And in order to talk about those, we gotta talk about the standard ones as well. So let's get into it. I did write up this document here and I'll include a link below this video so you can go ahead and read it if you wanted it, you know, to read it as a document, but we'll cover it now. So events are simply actions people take on your website. So somebody goes to your website, they click around, they watch things, they buy things, they opt in for things, whatever, whatever action you want to go ahead and track, you can track as an event. Now there are two types of events inside of Facebook. There are standard events, which are events that Facebook has already established. They're pre-built and everything. So these are like your purchase events, lead events, add to cart events, etc. And then there are also custom events. So this could be whatever the heck you want to go ahead and create an event for. But typically it's for like a click. So somebody clicks something on your website, like a button or something like that. And you want to track those clicks or they engage with something, maybe like a video on your website and you want to track people click and play on the video, or maybe if they land on a certain page, you wanna track that. So it can be whatever you want. Now, a couple of things that you do with these events are you can go ahead and track events in your ads dashboard. So you can you know see how well your advertising efforts are doing and how many times whatever event is being triggered. So you can track your purchase events, your lead events, or your custom events in your ads dashboard. So that's handy. You can also create custom audiences with these events. So you can create an audience of people that have purchased something or become a lead or done whatever custom event that you've created. And so that's very handy as well. So then conversions are also actions that people take on your website. However, you can configure your advertising efforts, your campaigns and ad sets to auto optimize for conversions. So you can't auto optimize for events. You can auto only auto optimize for conversions. So that's the big difference here is if you want to set up a conversion campaign and optimize for purchases, leads, or a custom conversion, then you need to have the conversion set up in order to do that. So, and that's what this video is about. So we'll get into it, but real quick, there are two types of conversions. We have standard conversions. So there's purchase, lead, add to cart. And basically, Facebook already pre-configured all standard events to also equal standard conversions. Okay, so a purchase event is equal to a purchase conversion. A lead event is equal to a lead conversion. So the standard stuff is already set up, pre-established. It's pretty easy to understand and follow along with. The custom stuff confuses people. So a custom conversion, again, is whatever you want. So it can be a click, engagement, page view, et cetera. And we're gonna set up a custom, and we're gonna go ahead and set up a custom event and custom conversion in this video. So you'll see how that all works. So finally, if you have a custom event that you've created and you wanna optimize for that event, so maybe it's a button click, uh, you will need to turn that into a custom conversion first in order to auto optimize for that custom event. And so now let's go ahead and set this up. I think it'll make more sense once you actually see it in person here. All right, so here I am in the events manager and to get here, you just go to your ad account, go to the menu and go to events manager and you should wind up on a page that looks like this right here. Now, if your page doesn't quite look like this, it's probably because your Facebook pixel isn't installed and it's not passing data back into Facebook here. So you'll wanna go ahead and install your Pixel and I have some training below this video on how to install your Pixel. So if you need help with your Pixel, check out that training. Uh, but anyway, it gives a breakdown of all the events that are being fired off on my website. So I have some standard events, I have some custom events, and you can see you know, what's going on right here. Uh, in this video, we're gonna create a custom event and a custom conversion to go along with that custom event. So let's create our custom event. So let's go to add event and I'm gonna go ahead and install the code manually. Again, I have training below on how to add the pixel. This is your pixel code, yada, yada. I wanna hit continue now and I'm just gonna hit continue now. And what I wanna go ahead and do is install events using code. 
And it brings us to this article right here on conversion tracking, which is actually a very good article. It gives some examples and everything like that. So I recommend going, reading this article. I'll include a link in the description. But it talks about standard events and custom events and custom conversions and breaks down the difference in Facebook language instead of just Nathan, my language here. Like I broke it down here and this is their version of it. So recommend checking it out, reading it. And so let's go ahead and talk about the custom event I'm gonna go ahead and set up in this video. So I have this page right here and I wanna track when people click on this button right here. That's what I wanna go ahead and track this button click event and then I wanna go ahead and create a custom conversion for this button click so that way I can optimize for people clicking on this gray button right here. So that's my, my goal, my mission in life. And so now what I need to do is set up some code in order to track button clicks here and push that event information into Facebook Ads Manager. And there's a bunch of ways to do this. You could use the event setup tool, you could hard code it in, you could use a plugin if you're using like WordPress or something like that. So there's a bunch of different ways to push information or event information from your website into Facebook. In my particular case, I'm gonna hard code it in and this is what my code looks like right here. I'll kind of break it down. It's this little JavaScript snippet. And basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna watch for this link to be clicked, which is the open pop-up link. And that's the same link as this gray button right here. So on click, it's gonna trigger this function right here, which is the FBQ track custom and then open pop-up. So track custom is like the standard information that Facebook needs to know that this is a custom event. And then open pop-up is the name of my custom event. So if I go ahead and copy this and add it to my website and throw it in here and I'll save it. And then what I need to go ahead and do is trigger, trigger it. So let me go ahead and trigger this event so that way Facebook can see it. So let's go ahead and pop this page up real quick. And again, it's the same concept, whether you're using WordPress or something else. The point is you need to set up your event and you need to trigger it to push the information into Facebook. And if you want the code that I'm using right now, I'll include it down below as well so you can check that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this button and then come up to my Facebook Pixel Helper. And I see right here that my open pop-up event has fired off. So that's good, it's green and everything. We see that there's some information here. So that's, that's a good sign. If you don't have the Facebook Pixel Helper, I recommend getting it because it's like critically important to help you track your events. So we got that going on. Let's come back over to Facebook now and refresh our page and see if our, if our event information is popping up in here. So let me scroll down real quick and I'm not seeing it yet. Now it might take a few minutes for it to pop in. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so our custom event has shown up here in the events manager. You see it right here, open pop-up. It's been triggered one time, so awesome. Seems to be working well. Now what we need to do is go ahead and set up a custom conversion based off of this custom event. And again, the reason we're setting up a custom conversion is so we can auto-optimize for that custom conversion. So basically, so we can set up our campaigns and ad sets and ads to optimize for button clicks. In particular, this button right here, this gray button uh, will optimize for those clicks. I think I said that like eight times. So sorry for the repetition, but I just wanna make sure it's clear. All right, so we're back here. We wanna to go to custom conversions now. And now we wanna go ahead and create a custom conversion. I'm gonna call it the same name as my event just to keep things simple, open, pop up. And then I can add a description like this is for button clicks on my squeeze page or whatever to keep, help you keep organized. The data source, so you wanna make sure that you select the correct pixel. And then we get into the conditions for our custom conversion. So the first thing we can go ahead and do is choose a conversion event. And as you'll see, there's several to choose from. So there's URL traffic, then there's custom events like that we've set up, for example, open pop-up right here. Then there's the standard events that we talked about as well. So you can set up a custom conversion based off of those options. I'm gonna leave it as all URL traffic for the time being. Also wanna point out right here that there are rules that we can go ahead and configure. And so there's some drop down menus. So we can do URL or referring domain or event part parameters. And then we have contains, doesn't contains or equals. And we can hit the plus button to add even more rules and create basic segmentations, right? So obviously you could do quite a bit here with different URL rules. So if you wanna do it based off of a page somebody lands on, you could trigger a custom event based off of that page or you could go into like the referring domain or event parameters 
and there's a bunch of things. So here's like the event day, event hour. So there's your custom parameters and then contains equals less than, et cetera. So there's a bunch of different things we could go ahead and configure down here in the rules area. And then there's also this standard event optimization. So basically right now we're creating a custom event and we can do whatever we want with this custom event. But if we want to kind of like make it similar to one of the standard Facebook events, like purchase, lead, etc., that's where we can set this up. So like this click here, like what standard event might be similar to a click? So let, let's look at it real quick. So there's Facebook selected category, which is recommended. I'm not sure how they, how, how they decide things, but we have a few options. So we have add payment info, add to cart, add to wish list, complete registration, contact, customize product, donate, find location, initiate checkout, lead, purchase, schedule, search, start trial, submit application, subscribe, view content, or other. So in this particular case, I'm gonna go ahead and do view content like because they're viewing the order form or the opt-in form on my page. So I'm just gonna say that this is similar to the view content standard event. So this kind of makes sure Facebook knows like what type of event is this? So it's not a purchase, it's not a lead, but it's it's something. And a view content is like, hey, they're viewing something important. So I'm gonna set it as a view content event. And then let's come back up here to our conversion events real quick. And now of course this is pretty self-explanatory. Basically we select whichever uh, event is what we want to convert into a conversion. So in our case, we have open pop-up and now it's making me reselect this option. So let me come on down here to view content. And then we have different rules here. So we could add rules if we want to. Um, it's not relevant for my case here, but if you need rules, additional rules, you could set them up. Um, you could also enter a conversion value. So if these clicks are worth $1 or $10 or something like that, you could go ahead and set up a, a value for those conversions. Now I don't have any value associated with this conversion, so I'll leave it blank. But if you wanted to, you could do it. So now I'll hit create and done. And boom, just like that, I can now go ahead and set up a campaign and ad set to optimize for open pop-up. So I'm gonna do that real quick just so you can see it. So let's just go to ads manager and do it very, very quickly. So you can see how it how it works. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new campaign. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch to quick creation because I prefer that myself. So I named my campaign demo custom conversion and I'm gonna have to go for conversions because that's what I'm optimizing for is conversions, right? I'm just gonna do some random crap in there and go on to the next step. So where we go to set up our conversion objective is at the ad set level. So we come down here and we see conversion event right here and set to add to cart. And then we get all the events we can go ahead and optimize for, like view content, lead, and add to cart, which are standard events. And then I have a custom event of SF Blueprint download. And then I have another standard event of purchase. And then we have inactive events and also like super inactive events, the red ones that have not been, been triggered. And here's where we see my open pop-up event that has not been received and it's red. So that means like it's you know, not been processed before. And that's probably because, you know, I just turned it into a custom event. I just turned it into a custom conversion as well. And it just hasn't really tr registered that information. Now I feel pretty confident that it works because I did see that the event triggered in my event manager. So since I saw it there, pretty, pretty confident it works. Just to be sure, what I'll go ahead and do is I'll come back to my page real quick and I'll go ahead and refresh it. I'll press this button. And then maybe I'll refresh it again and then press the button again. And if I wanted to be really crazy, I might open another browser and you know click the button again just to just to try and make it trigger. And then I'll come back over here. I can go ahead and refresh it real quick. And we see that it's already been turned green and that so that was really quick. Maybe I just needed to trigger it as a custom conversion. Um, and I hadn't done that before. So now that I've done that, we see that it's green, looks to be working. And now, of course, I can go ahead and, you know, configure all this other stuff and, you know, run my ad to basically optimize for the button clicks on my gray button here. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I know we covered a lot and this is kind of a, a more advanced topic. So if you have questions, please ask them below. I wanna make sure that I cover everything so it's helpful to you. Um, other than that, if this was helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and I hope that you have a great rest of the day.